Hi everyone, welcome back to this week's edition of the Maconi Setup Shop AFIX Tutorials. Uh, this week we are at Dover International Speedway, uh, so strap in and let's get to it. Uh, first thing to know about Dover, uh, this is a concrete surface, uh, so it does drive a lot differently than a lot of other racetracks that we visit. Uh, it's got some long sweeping corners. Uh, Personally, I find the double apex or the diamond uh, method is really good around here. That's how I was taught to get around this place. Um, I've stuck with it throughout the years. This car, uh, with the grip that it produces uh, mechanically, uh, really allows you to run that diamond. Um, and as long as you're not cranking a whole bunch of wheel into it through the center and overdriving the corner, you really don't. Uh, abuse your tires by doing it. Uh, however, the other method to get around here is by simply wrapping the apron. Uh, you typically go a little slower through the center, uh, but the point is to not have a whole bunch of wheel input. Uh, it is slower than diamonding, but it does help you save your tires a little bit better. Uh, but I think the diamond is the best of both worlds where you get to keep your speed uh, and not abuse your tires. If you find that you are using a lot of wheel in the center, uh, you definitely got to back your corners up. Uh, this is a racetrack that you don't want to be forcing the car to do things. You want to let the car naturally do it. Um, when you get to the center of the corner here, especially when you try running the diamond, uh, when your car slows down enough, you don't have to add any extra wheel to it. The car is naturally going to want to come down the hill right and if you're able to do that that's how you know that you're really taking care of your stuff uh, the other thing too is being really easy on the throttle you definitely do not want to have a bunch of wheel input here and then mash the throttle uh, you will get loose in a hurry and this is not a racetrack that you really want to get out of control because there's not a lot of room to collect the car uh, and not wreck right uh, so by not having a lot of wheel in the center uh, you can use a little more throttle uh, but don't get full throttle until you're comfortable it doesn't have to be until the straightaway but if you're comfortable waiting until you get on the straightaway to get full throttle then by all means do it that way you stay in control because uh, again this is the last place you want to get out of control here at and uh, and cause a big accident another important thing to know real quick is I did this run in fifth gear uh, during the race I don't I don't, you definitely don't want to be using fourth gear at the start. Uh, you get about three or four car lengths more out of fifth gear. The gears are short enough that I think maybe 20, 25 in when the pace really slows down, um, you might be able to downshift on corner entry and then shift back into fifth down the straightaway. But traffic's going to dictate that. Dirty air is going to dictate that. And the tire wear is also going to dictate that. I just wanted to let you guys know that. Okay, we'll switch to the in-car here so you guys can get a lap around over. Hey guys, a couple quick things to go over again. Uh, be careful with your inputs. Again, you don't want to be cranking a whole bunch of wheel into the center. That's help, going to help you take care of your tires and just be smooth on the gas uh, and the brakes for that matter. I'm not using a lot of brake, but as you can see, especially on corner entry, I'm trying to use a little bit to get the nose to set. Okay, that just helps it turn through the corner. Uh, don't get full throttle until you're comfortable. Again, this is the last place that you want to get out of control at because uh, this place will reach out and grab you in a hurry. Okay, uh, that'll do it for this week's video. Uh, if you guys found that this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns at all, please leave a comment down below and we will get back to them as soon as we can. Lastly, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you guys can see these videos every Monday when Maconi set up shop posts on their YouTube channel. All right, guys, best of luck this week, and we'll see you on the track. 